Hi, I'm Dahlia Weiss. And I'm Michael Meisinger. And we're here to tell you about an exciting new project where we used rational drug design to look for better drug leads for an important therapeutic target known as the chemokine receptor CXCR4. This work was done with Symbios under the Driving Biological Project of Drug Targets. So we believe that protein structures contain a lot of information that we can use to rationally design better drugs. And right now it's a really exciting time to be a rational drug designer because a whole class of proteins known as the G protein coupled receptors have just had their structures solved. And these, dr these drug targets are actually responsible for over 30% of all marketed drugs. Just as we started this project, um, the structure of a new GPCR, the first one that bound another protein, was starting to come out. And this other, we were very excited because this other, this target that was coming out was um, known as chemokine receptor 4, CXCR4. And this target's been implemented, uh, implicated in lots of different diseases. For instance, when your body, in your body, when your cells need help from the immune system, they release um, small proteins called chemokines. And these proteins are detected by this receptor sitting on the surface of your white blood cells. Um, and so CXCR4 detects them, and then your white blood cells move toward them and form an immune response. CXCR4, the chemokine receptor, is especially interesting because not only is it implicated in all kinds of cancer, but it actually also serves as a co-receptor for HIV virus entry. So armed with the structure of CXCR4, we thought we could use computers to look through a list of all the commercially available molecules that are out there and choose ones that might be drugs. This is important because there's actually no medicines at the moment that can target CXCR4. So the method that we use is known as docking. And in docking, we actually take the binding site structure in three dimensions, the atom by atom high resolution structure, and we take a whole list of commercially available small molecules, and we try to just fit them into the binding site. So if you think of like a small child's game where they have a board with lots of little holes in it, squares, circles, triangles, what we're trying to do is to just fit the right shape into the hole. So what comes out of our docking program is a ranked list of uh, molecules by docking score. And what we can do is then we look at those molecules that are predicted to fit the binding site the very best. And using our own chemical knowledge and biophysical intuition, we can then pick a certain number, in this case 24 molecules, to experimentally test. So we sent them to the Medical College of Wisconsin and our collaborator is Brian Volkman and his um, talented student Josh Yarek, who's a co-author on the paper with me and Dahlia, and they tested them. And what they found was that five of them actually inhibited the enzyme, um, which is a great hit rate um, out of the 24 we'd selected. And even more exciting was the fact that one of them bound really tightly. It was a 300 nanomolar binder straight out of docking. And it was managed to displace um, the natural protein that bound to the, the, the receptor. And this tiny little molecule, less than 350 Daltons, managed to disrupt these two huge proteins, two huge proteins from talking to each other. When we tested these in cells, to see if they actually stop the white blood cells from migrating, which if you remember is the outcome of the interaction between the chemokine and the chemokine receptor, we found that all of five of our compounds inhibited the migration of white blood cells. And they did this through the, um, through the chemokine receptor CXCR4. The reason that this is so exciting is because traditionally the way that pharmaceutical companies have looked for drugs is just through hit and miss. So they could test even up to a few million compounds experimentally looking for that single needle in a haystack, a drug lead. And we believe that we can use biophysics and computation to first sort through those millions of molecules and then just pick those that we think have the best chance of being a good drug lead. 